It's looking better by the day, my friends. This is Tony. Hope you're all doing well. I got some pretty big, interesting news to talk about in this video. Something with Joe Rogan we'll get into in a little bit here. We're going to get into a ton of topics. We're going to talk about basically how things are going. We're seeing, of course, the economy implode. We're seeing banks closing. Another bank goes under. We'll get into that. We're going to get into a number of other things going on as well. First, we'll start here. We have Joe Rogan apparently is going to have on 45 on Friday. So this is the latest thing that just came out. Our former prez will be recording an episode on Joe Rogan podcast on Friday, according to Politico. Of course, this is very huge. If you understand how big Joe Rogan is, he is actually the biggest podcast in the world. 16.4 million subscribers on YouTube, 18.9 on Instagram, 14.5 million on Spotify, and also over 10 million on Twitter. So this guy is not small in any way, shape, or form. You can see here when it comes to Spotify, he is number one. With follower count, you can see there's no comparison that he has got the big views. And actually what's really interesting is this week has been very big for 45. He's been winning pretty much left and right. And that is also while you have all these other things imploding on the other side. We're going to get into all that in this video. And like I said, we're seeing also a number of other things going on around us that just shows you where this economy is and how it's clearly not going to work in her favor. We just had a bank go under overnight. First National Lindsay of Lindsay closes. FDIC takes over deposits, the bank completely failing. And of course, also on top of that, we're seeing big banks are bracing for losses as Americans struggle to pay off debt. And of course, a lot of this has to do with the fact that people are racking up credit card, auto, commercial real estate debt, mortgages. This just came out as well. Let me show you something over here. Uh, boots on the ground, intel of foreclosures going through the roof. Dallas, Fort Worth right here. This guy is saying that it's just getting ridiculous now. The numbers every day are just getting larger and larger. And this is not just, you know, those that are lower class or something or middle class. This is everybody including multimillionaires and mansions all going into foreclosure in that area, which I think is sort of a microcosm of what's really going on in our country. We've gotten to the point now where wages have been stagnant while inflation continues to rise. Clearly something's got to give eventually. And obviously real estate is very expensive. Homes are very expensive to pay for. They're going to give. People can't keep paying for them if they don't have the money. And of course, we're seeing that also with all these store closures of recent, we have 1,200 for CVS coming up soon here. They just put out an article about that. We're seeing all these other ones closing locations left and right. We even had General Motors. General Motors, main wheel supplier going out of business. We had McDonald's French fry supplier closing their doors. It's just like, what's going on here? This is clearly not working. We need to fix this whole thing, right? And obviously, those that are in, of course, power are not doing a good job. It's not rocket science. You can see all this going on around us. And even baby boomers are starting to go out of retirement thinking, what if, of course, she gets in? <laughs> I'm going to have to be working at age 90 as a Walmart greeter, greeter or I'm going to be flipping fries. You know, obviously, 45 was there at 75. I mean, that might be where a lot of people are going. You never know. I mean, honestly, you have to go out of retirement if she gets in, man. But I think if he gets in, might be a little bit better off, might be able to stay in your retirement. Might not have to get out of the retirement. Unretire. I guess that's the new word, unretire, right? Uh, probably not looking too good for her. Let's just put it that way. So we have, of course, 45 going on Joe Rogan this Friday. That is going to be absolutely insane. I wonder how many views that's going to get. It's just going to be in the stratosphere, I'm guessing. He is hitting home runs left and right. She is swinging big and missing left and right. We have two huge stories about her completely just falling flat on her you know, face. We'll get into that in a little bit here. 
First, so I got to mention food supply, 25 year shelf life. Link is in the description. You definitely want to get this. You never know what's next, my friend. We are seeing a number of stories. We have two huge stories about we're talking Crane, and we're also talking about China, and we're talking about potential world WAR. We're seeing China already preparing. They're preparing for it right now. That just came out like a day or two ago. I'll get into that as well. But you definitely want to be prepared, my friends. Three months worth for six ninety seven. Link is in the description. Also, of course, this book here, The Lost Ways, How Your Great Great Grandfather Live Without Electricity, How to Build a Cellar. Do things around the house like they did in good old days. Hundreds of pages illustrated. You're going to definitely want to get that book before something happens. Get the printed version. $37 plus shipping. Link is in the description. And of course, we're seeing Warren Buffett selling off stock left and right because he knows the stock market is going to crash in the next couple months due to the yield curve uninverting. Every time it's done it in the past, stock market crash within a couple months. So he's been selling like crazy. He has a huge stockpile of money. Waiting to get right back in when the stock market crashes. He's going to buy up a ton of stuff for cheap. So it might be wise to be prepared for that. You know what I mean? Like you don't want your 401k to go to nothing. You don't want your, your dollar to go to nothing. It's wise to buy some gold silver. They also have other things available. You can even convert your 401k into a gold IRA, things like that as well, which I don't know. It's, it's a good idea if you do it right. That's the concern, but... It's wise to definitely do something with your 401k, whether or not it's with a gold IRA or something else. You've got to do something because it's going to it's going to crash very soon. It's going to crash. We, are, we already know this. That's why you see people like Warren Buffett selling. So it's wise to get prepared. It's wise to put your money in gold and silver because gold and silver went up 61% during the Great Depression. Link is in the description for that. Go check it out. They have some deals going on right now. Uh, a number of deals for this week. Link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. So, of course, we're seeing a lot of things imploding on her side. CNN analysts are saying they can't find a single, of course, Arab American who will support her, my friends. And she talks about how actually there's someone in the extended family of 45 that has been going around a guy. I think it's a father-in-law for one of his sons or something. I don't know, something like that. Lebanese guy going around telling people why they need to support 45. And apparently it's working because a lot of people in that community are for, for him, supporting him. So we got that going on. We have this hilarious video of Ben Stiller. I thought, you know, at first I, I thought this looked like literally a skit from Comedy Central. It was so ridiculous sounding. It reminded me of some of, of Ben Stiller's movies in the past. Let's just play this here and you'll see what I'm getting at. All right, let's play this. Girl dad. About being a girl dad. I love how much smarter she is than all the guys in the room already. I can tell that she's going to be a powerhouse. She is already at two and a half. My daughter's 22 and a half, is a feminist, incredibly strong, and has uh, really uh, I've just inspired me in so many ways. I love her. I'm the proud dad of Elle over here. My vote for Kamala is. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm sure this is going to win over all the alpha males out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to win over any, you know, males out there from what I can tell. I mean, this might actually get people to not support her. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. And why are they why are they saying here for my daughter's future? What does that even mean? She apparently supports deleting, of course, you know, babies. And uh that's how is that her future? I that's like deleting the future, right? Investment in my daughter's future. I'm I'm scratching my head trying to understand this. It doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I don't I don't get this, man. And of course, they're already telegraphing their loss with these articles like this from Political, which by the way, Political is the one who just put out that on Friday 45 is going to be on Joe Rogan, but they also put this out. The very real scenario where 45 loses and somehow takes power anyways. Of course, he's going to take power anyways. I mean, it's like, you know, he's like some sort of James Bond villain or something. I don't know how you're going to take power if you didn't win. This is like literally just them saying, we're going to say he's losing even though he wins. And then we're going to say he just stole it. That's basically what they're, they're already telegraphing what they're going to do. They're already putting it out in the mind of everybody. Oh, look, see, this is what's going to happen. 
he's going to win, but he really lost. But he's going to say that he won anyways. This is They're already telegraphing it. It's pretty hilarious to watch this in real time happen. Uh, <laughs> you got Zachary Levi, the guy plays in Shazam, putting a support behind him. Of course, mentioning, I guess he was reacting to what Whoopi Goldberg said. Whoopi Goldberg claimed that, I mean, she was like trying to kind of distort sort of the positioning of Hollywood saying, yeah, a lot of people in Hollywood back in the heyday, what is that, like 50, 50 years ago, 70 years ago, back in the heyday were on, of course, the right. I'm like, really? I think Hollywood's never been almost ever on, of course, the right. I think that hasn't happened probably for at least 70 years. I don't know what she's talking about. He responds saying that's ridiculous, basically, in the video. But so we got all that going on. So we have all these things happening around us. The economy is clearly not going to work in favor of her because she's been there for three and a half years, three and a half plus years at this point. And you could tell that they thought they were going to win because of some of the stuff they were doing. All right. They've been sort of like putting things in place. One of the things they put in place was a law saying that they can use, of course, lethal, you know, force if something happens you know, in November, you know, like, well, kind of like last time, right? They already put something in the doc that I showed it in a previous video. Uh, they updated the document a month ago, thinking they might still win. You got to put that in there. Then they also put this out, which is really strange as well. Tulsi was talking about this on Real Time with Bill Maher. They put the draft in place in a, they changed, they modified it. They basically made it to where all men, all women, as they reach the age of 18, are going to be drafted. Meaning, you before it was only men, and you put a card in. So you'd have to fill out a card, put it in, then you can be drafted. Now, no card. Both men and women, as soon as they turn 18, can be drafted. That's the new update. And this would indicate, as she says, that it appears to be, and I can actually play this. Let me play this real quick. Because I think it's true what she's saying. All right, let me play this. To me, points to the fact that uh, the only reason we would need a draft is because our warmongering politicians are starting wars that they know the American people aren't going to support. Exactly. And, and it makes you really wonder because they, I think a lot of these countries are starting to see who's going to win. They're already starting to see it. That's why we're seeing all these news stories. These news stories like this here. This came out on CNN Politics. Documents show intelligence on Israel's, of course, plans to go after, you know, Iran, sources say. So we see an extension. So they'll be going directly into Iran now, right? That's not the only one. There's actually three of these. That's the first one. Actually, I meant, did I close one? I think I might have closed one. There's also one. Oh, yeah, no, I have it. I think I got it around here somewhere. I'll just show you this one first. So we have also, of course, last, I think it was like a day ago. No, it was October 20th. Uh, China saying to its own army to prepare for WAR. So this came out two days ago. And then we also had another one. Did I close the other one? I got it around here somewhere. Uh, where did it go? I guess I closed it. No, 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 I did close it. It had to do with North Korea uh, going into, of course, Crane. That was another thing that just happened like a day or two ago as well. So you got all these things happening and they say it was an escalation. I wish I had that article open. I don't know where it went. Got too many things open here like usual, but I think you get the point. Um, clearly, maybe they're waiting. Maybe they're thinking to themselves, well, if he gets in, we can't start this. Right. But if we started before he gets in, then it will be ongoing while he's in. See what I'm getting at? So get it all started before he gets in so that we can keep it going. Right. Because with China, I think it has to do with Taiwan. Right. So it's like everyone's going, you know, vying for something. They want something. And obviously, when he was in his tenure last time, he didn't start any W. He didn't know no WAR start. No war started while he was in. Right. So they're thinking, well, if he gets in, we're not going to be able to start anything. We got to do it before he gets in. Right. 
I'm thinking that's what's going on here. I'm thinking that's what all this is about. I really hope it doesn't happen like that. I really hope there isn't any new one started in the next week, two weeks, or whatever. Ridiculous stuff. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's my video. I'm kind of wondering if some of you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.